Hi guys. So it's day 13 and I'm in the middle of my run. I've already run about 30 kilometers. I'm, I've been on the road for more than five hours. So it's a good run. I've just taken a 20 minute nap. I kind of needed it. it felt good. Uh, the sun is kind of hot today, although it's starting to settle. And despite being in a the forest, there's a lot of roads like this, you see? So it's easily open with the sun falling on it, no protection. So I've taken quite a lot of sunlight today. And since there is no, not much wind, the air is warm and dry. So, as you can see, I'm running. Uh, this gives you an idea. So, after some time, so usually it's there's some kind of 30 kilometer limit, you start getting more tired, and uh, your muscles, they are, you're feeling them a little bit more. Uh, and in my case, that's a 30 kilometer limit. And so, you have to stop more often and you try to just keep moving, thinking about uh, kilometer after kilometer, calculating your speed, you know, find some tools to not think about how long you have run, how long you still have to run. Uh, although I always like calculating percentages, like I've run one third, how much is left, and I use my iPhone with the GPS tool, to tell me every two kilometers how much uh, time it estimates is left. So I have an idea of uh, slowing down or on the contrary. But speed depends entirely on going up or down. You exchange speed for height. If you go up, well, the rougher the angle, the slower the pace. And at some point, which happened, in the days before, when I was in the Savoie, uh, it so happened that uh, I couldn't run anymore because it was so steep. And on the way down, it's actually the same. If it's too strong, you can't really run and you get slower. So some some angle going down is good, but when it gets too, str gets too strong, it's not good anymore. So that's it. And Right now, I still have about, I think, 15 kilometers left, maybe a little more. So, I'm just going quietly to normal speed, not roughening it at all. Uh, I've had, my muscles have suffered a lot in the mountains, so it's funny how easy it seems now, running like this, you know, not much climb way quieter roads so of course I make much longer distances while running but uh, it, it feels kind of eerie because I, I feel the difference I feel how much I've gained how much easier it is I don't even notice the backpack and its weight my shoulders have stopped hurting uh, and I think that going on autonomy runs for two days with a heavier backpack uh, it helps a lot actually, it helps adapt. So when I get, I go back to my normal backpack, it, it, it feels light. So actually I feel like I have no backpack. Uh, right now it's settled all right. I don't have any more any burning marks from it, or from equipment. I've adapted to it completely. I've settled on everything I'm using. Uh, so, Everything is getting better, but I still have to manage my muscles, my strength, my energy. So, energy is okay. The muscles are kind of what I'm more worried about a little bit, but that's normal. So I'm trying to preserve them, not go too fast. That's important because actually you have to know your speed. If you go too fast, you start producing toxins and they accumulate in your body and then endurance they are going to limit what you're capable of doing on long distances and that's really important so it's really important 
not to run too fast and to know how fast you can run and basically training for endurance running and any endurance sport is putting this putting this limit higher for you so basically pulling it up you know making it that you can your heart can be faster without starting to produce toxins and that you can run longer with more intensity uh, more punch you know so um, running regularly like this it's a great training and after this is the 13th day of running I can clearly feel the difference there is not much in common with the first day when I started running I've, I've really adapted my body has adapted and the fact of changing every week the setting forces me to readapt completely so I have I had mountains and up and down last week which was really hard to adapt to but this week I'm back to distances I have smaller climbs I still have some but I have small climbs and I feel that my muscles have to readapt you know they've started developing for mountains and now I force them to go for distance so it's really interesting it's a good thing to uh, change the settings force your body to readapt because it makes it easier in the long term to do that again you know and that's it I take a lot of time trying to find a good connection to post the pictures on Facebook it takes time it slows me down doing that you know taking the pictures trying to post them putting a comment on them following what's happening it takes time it slows me down when I do that I have my iPhone in front of my eyes so I run slower or I walk sometimes it depends and I have to stop to take the pictures you know so it's I'm not running for performance clearly I'm running for long term it's a shared run and that's really important to me and I think that the time I take to do that shows how important it is I think it really changes what you do it's not the same thing if you just run you know on your own trying to go as fast as you can without looking around and if you pay attention to what is around you take time to sometimes talk with people share your experience I like doing that I love talking to people on the run you know hitchhiking also helps stopping and uh, the t-shirt that I have that says uh, run around the world it helps too it invites people to talk to me so that's really nice I really enjoy that talking to people and talking to you uh, showing showing you the pictures you know really showing what it is that I do and how amazing it is the places I go to basically there are so many wonderful places in this in this world and I think maybe seeing that will push people to, to go out more or you know create a desire to, to go out there to just go see by themselves all this and that's a good thing going outside seeing other people sharing things that's a good life so on that note see you soon and thanks for watching